We take you by tape recorder to the Hitching Post Theater in Hollywood. Well, howdy there. Howdy all you Indians, you big and little ones, and you all across the nation. There you're just in time for the end of the great straight arrow powwow, introducing that fabulous Indian hero to the young folks of America. The National Biscuit Company is bringing the adventures of the great straight arrow to your mutual network station on every Monday night. And today, all over the country, youngsters have gathered in the coast-to-coast straight arrow inauguration powwow. Here in Hollywood's Hitching Post Theater, we're close to the end of our big celebration, but the climax is yet to come. And among the guests you're going to hear from today are Johnny Mac Brown, America's favorite cowboy singer, Jimmy Wakely, and some of the men who helped him make that wonderful Western music. You know, kids, there's a saying among the men in the wide open spaces that if you try to trap a prairie dog in the dark, there's no telling what you're going to catch. But I'll bet that if those of you here today could catch any Western star you wanted, a lot of you'd set your traps for Johnny Mac Brown. And there he is, fellas. Howdy, everybody. Howdy. Hey, Johnny, what do you think of this straight arrow powwow, huh? Why, Ben, this is the greatest aggregation of renegades I've, I've seen since the great train robbery of 96. Oh, now, wait a minute, Johnny. These aren't renegades. This isn't even a posse. This is a whole Hogan full of heap big engine braves. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to me I see a... Uh, a few young squaws around, too. Hey, and mighty pretty ones, too, Johnny. You're right. All right, Ben. <laughs> I was only kidding. These are mighty fine-looking warriors. Ah, uh, hey. Wouldn't you hate to run into them all done up in war paint on a dark night in gruesome goat? I'll be honest with you, Ben. It wouldn't bother me. I can tell right off these are good Indians, like the great Comanche brave who called the powwow. I've run into some pretty rugged men in the pictures I've made, but I can tell you right now... I'd hate to be on the wrong side of the law and have straight arrow cutting my trail. Well, I'm afraid you wouldn't last long at that, Johnny. Well, straight arrow stands for more than just law. He's justice and fair play in all things. And I'm happy to, to wish him good luck, Ben. Mm-hmm. Well, Johnny, I know you're in sort of a hurry to get out and round up a couple of owl hoots, and we're going to have to let you go. But we'll all see more of you in your latest monogram picture, Law of the West. Right. Right you are, Ben. So long. Thank you very much. And more friendly days to watch you, Johnny. There he goes. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> right now, I want you to say hello to that famous Cherokee Indian movie star, Iron Eyes Cody. I'll call him. There All right. Are. I haven't told our listeners yet that before the broadcast, we chose Little Chief Straight Arrow's counsel from the audience, eight members, four braves, and four squaws. It's good to have squaws on counsel. Oh, yes, it's wonderful. Everybody here can see that Iron Eyes has a quiver full of arrows. And now I happen to know that these arrows are magic. And I should tell you that we have the counsel, but we don't have a Little Chief Straight Arrow yet, nor do we have a princess. Now Iron Eyes Cody and his magic arrows are going to perform the task of picking a chief and a princess from this council of eight youngsters, four boys and four girls. But now, kids, before we do this, Jimmy Wakely's going to give out with a little something special in song, and here's that wonderful singing cowboy right now, Jimmy Wakely. Yeah. Thank you, boys and girls. There's a great gang out there, Jimmy, and they're listening to you all across the country. What's your song going to be? I'd like to sing a song that I wrote about a year ago, Ben, called right. Night After Night, okay? Julie, while we're picking out the chief and the princess, you give us Night After Night. Night after night, I cry myself to sleep. my tears instead of counting sheep. Night after night in dreams I see your face. When I awake there's only empty space. I Oh, 
crying inside Night after night I'll keep your memory And pray for the day When you come back to Thank you, Jimmy Wakely. I'm happy to announce that this little girl right here has been chosen by the council and the Magic Arrows as princess to the little chief and co-ruler of the Straight Arrow tribe. And honey, if you'll put your popcorn down for just a minute, hand it to this man over here. That's fine. You stand right up here beside me so that everybody can see you, because here is the princess of the tribe, and you tell me, what is your name? Honey Irene Hollingsworth. Honey Hollingsworth. What a wonderful name. Why do they call you honey? Huh? Do you go around no. buzzing all day like a bee, or are you real sweet? Huh? <laughs> well, honey Hollingsworth, do you know what it's going to mean? You are going to be princess to the little chief, co-ruler of the Straight Arrow tribe, and here for you from Teepee Town in New York, who presented the gifts to the other three girls on your council as well, is a complete and beautiful Indian princess costume. Do you think that's exciting? We're mighty, mighty happy to have you here, honey Hollingsworth. And let's hear this gang now sort of swear their allegiance to you as princess with a great bunch of applause for you. Well, now, now we have four more to go. We've picked our princess, but we haven't picked our chief yet, fellas and girls. You braves, come on up here now. Show me your magic arrows, if you will, please. This first boy right over here. You, all right. You tell me your name, if you will. Jim Mitchum. Jim Mitchum. Jim, we're sure glad to see you. What do you like to do best, Jim? I don't know. Do you like to play baseball? Do you like to be... I like football. Football? And you like to be an Indian, too, or you wouldn't like straight arrows so much. Tell you what, Jim, your badge of authority is a beautiful beaded belt. It designates you as guard of the camp of the great straight arrow tribe. Do you feel up to being guard of the camp? Okay. You've got to be a pretty hard, tough guy there, too. All right, here's this next man. Come over here, fella. Tell me what your name is. Marlon Harton. Marlon Harton? Yes, sir. You live right here in Hollywood? No, sir, in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles, but you know all about Straight Arrow, and you want to be on his council? Well, Marlon, your beaded belt makes you the chief war counselor of the tribe. You've got to think up some pretty good plans for war counselor, huh? All right, Marlon, who's next here? What's the next boy? Come over here, fella. This is a wonderful headdress you have on. Tell me your name real loud. Victor Berkey. Victor Berkey. By golly, Victor, if you didn't have those ears, this headdress would fall right down over your face, wouldn't it? It yeah. sure would. Victor, you look pretty fine in this outfit today. For you, we have for you here an honest-to-goodness Tom Tom, and as you know, every Indian tribe has its medicine man, and you're going to be the big medicine man around here from now on. Think, think that's going to be good? Sure. Sure. Painless Parker's been in business for so long, we're glad to see you get into the act. Hey, there's your good medicine man locally. Hey, this is really the climatic moment now of our big powwow. It's an honor for me to name this next fella here, Little Chief Straight Arrow. Iron Eyes, is that right? That's right, and I have a special arrow and a feather here for Little Chief Straight Arrow. Well, thank you. Here, fella, tell us your name now. Ralph Hoppy. Ralph Hoppy? Yeah. And now, perhaps you don't know, but Teepee Town, in the heart of 42nd Street in New York City, is the only emporium dealing solely in the colorful and legitimate wares of the real American Indians. And they sent along all these gifts for the council, plus 48 bows and arrows for the members of the big sub-council. And for you, Little Chief Straight Arrow, this wonderful beaded and pom-pom feathered headdress, a tom-tom, and a complete Indian chief's costume, all your very own. Tell me your name again. Ralph Hoppy. Ralph Hoppy is our little chief straight arrow. Say hello to Ralph there, Bob. Uh, Big Chief Ben. Yeah, what is it, Iron Eyes, Cody? I'd like to have Big Smoke with Little Chief and his princess. All right, there. Iron Eyes. Many, many years ago, a great thing happened in this land. A white man met an American Indian in a beautiful valley. With the handshake of friendship, it is because of that arrival of friendship understanding and what grew from it that such a wonderful man a straight arrow can be today friendship is a simple thing and beautiful and worth working hard for the straight arrow knows this the big straight arrow knows this i hope that you little chief straight arrow and your princess and all your braves and squaws 
will always know it. Never forget, I want to say, to the makers of Nabisco shredded wheat, an Indian word, Niowa. Niowa means thanks for making things possible for an enjoyable life. I guess most of you children will agree that the straight hour broadcasts come under that heading. And I hope you always will try to grow up to be the good man Straight Arrow is. Thank you, Iron Eyes, Jody. You know, Ben, I was listening to what Iron Eyes Cody says, and I'll go with him right down the line. Well, as it is in Monogram's brand new Western movie star, Whip Wilson. Hi, Howdy, everybody. Hey, Whip, I'm sure glad you stayed around for this broadcast. But tell me, most cowboys carry lariats and six guns. And Whip, you do most of your work with a whip. And that's where you got your name. Is that right? That's right, Ben. Well, now, a cowboy's got to have a rope for some things. Maybe you don't know it, Ben. But some ranchers years ago hardly ever saw a rope. They used long whips for everything. I'll bet you don't know who you'd go to in the old days to get your teeth pulled, neither. Well, I'd go to a dentist, of course. Nope. <laughs> to a barber. He didn't only cut hair, he pulled teeth, too. Hey, is that right? And that's why they call a dentist's place a dental parlor. Why? Because it's a drawing room. Oh, oh now, nah, you're kidding, Cliff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I'd better call a halt. Well, good luck to Street Arrows. And good luck to you, Whip Wilson. We'll be watching for you in Monogram's Trashing Grill. Say, you know, fellas and girls, Whip's right about one thing. Medical methods in the old days weren't what they are today. Science is moving forward fast. And to help it out, a contribution is being made from every powwow like this one all over America to the American Cancer Society at 47 Beaver Street, New York. A straight arrow fund to help deserving American Indians. And now I don't know that I mentioned the fact that the Boy Scouts of America provided the ushers for the powwow today, and I'd like to ask them to throw open the doors so that everybody in Hollywood can hear while all you kids join Jimmy Wakely in another song. Everybody sing loud now. Here we go. The stars at night are big and bright. time for us to leave, but I'd like to thank Capitol Recording star Jimmy Wakely for his wonderful help here today, and you can see him in his latest picture from Monogram Studios, Gunrunner. Iron Eyes Cody can be seen in Monogram's Bowery Buckaroos and the light artist, the dude goes west, and right here in this theater, the hitching post and Indian agent. Remember that Straight Arrow's adventures will be coming your way on your mutual station every Monday night from now on. Check your local station, kids, for the time. You're grown up too. Meantime, this is Ben Alexander, hoping you all had fun and saying so long. So long, kids! The short room has come to you by tape recorder from the Hitching Force Theater in Hollywood. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.